Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended where we will see what are your person's thoughts, feelings towards you, their future actions, what do you need to know in general as well. So do have a look, it will be linked below. Also, when you join this reading, please hit the like button. Thank you. All right. So we have share wisdom as your first card. Now I am going to be reading for you these oracle messages. If you're not interested, you can skip to the tarot card. Okay. Um, and I will also be, now there's so much okay to say, let me say it. Okay. And I'm also going to be picking out handwritten notes for you from your person towards the end of the reach. So stick around until the end for that if you're into it. Shared wisdom. Hmm. I feel like some of you have not have, you did not have things come easy to you in your life. And there's a lot of wisdom behind that energy. It's like a wounded warrior kind of an energy. Interesting. But it's like in the month of March, uh, especially if you have Pisces or Aries placements, I would suggest you watch their reading. I feel like something is going to come into fruition for you. It's like the seeds have been planted. Now it's time for you to see the results. That is what the message is like for you, Sagittarius. Ooh, very, like, this is you. Okay, versatility. Very versatile. I also see you exploring, get creative. Some of you are artists, you love to paint, draw, or like into music, art, whatever. Love your energy. You're gonna feel like you're in touch with your creative side more in the month of March. Very beautiful cards are showing up for you. So share wisdom and... Okay, where is the other one? Man, let's read for you, share wisdom. Oh, there it is. This card is about the wisdom of experience. Our most potent medicine is born from the trials we have endured. It is easy to underestimate all that we know and all that we have learned. But we, but sorry, we each have a unique perspective and offering to this world. Our wisdom evolves with us. Right now, you are being asked to speak more loudly about what you do know. Do not worry about what you don't know or whether you think you are qualified enough. It is time to put voice to all that you have experienced. It knows its medicine is best exactly as it is. Wow. It is encouraging you to treat yourself and your story the same. Do not think you must change yourself in order to be respected as a wisdom keeper. What is in you is enough. Wow. I can't seem to find versatility. Oh my God, I'm not gonna find it. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm not gonna force it because it's the third time I'm trying to look for it and the page is not coming up. So I give up, I'm lacking patience, okay. But you know what that means, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna leave a comment. Oh, why did you not read that card? I'm gonna try to find it again and then read for you after I'm done with your read, okay? 
but let's give it some time for now so we have trust the situation is calling for you to have trust there may be somebody you're having a hard time trusting sagittarius and that situation may show up again in your life okay spirit is saying the situation is calling for you to have faith okay show me what i need to see please show me what i need to see for Sagittarius, stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. How beautiful. So Spirit is saying, stay positive, have trust. Trust, trust. <laughs> I've been mixing word. Trust your path was what I was going to say and I said trust. So trust your uh, path, okay? Trust the path that you're walking on, have patience, Staying optimistic, something positive is going to happen, is what I'm getting from those cards. But let's see, let's have a look at your tarot messages. Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius. emperor taking back control some of you could be working on your money your goals your business like it i also feel like you're going to be investing more in your passions this month what is something that you're passionate about cooking writing dancing walking exercising whatever or just sitting okay uh, what is helping or hindering you is the queen of swords in the reverse yeah, some of you have Aries, Pisces placements, and I just said that before. <laughs> You're tired. Some of you are tired of showing up for somebody. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Your challenge is the cups. Advice, tower. Go with the flow. Four of swords, nine of swords. Oh my God, I see you under so much stress. So in the past, you've gone through something really stressful, Sagittarius. Oh, but I feel like that energy is going to subside eventually. You're going to feel a lot better, especially if, you know, I feel like this is like that deeper understanding that, okay, I cannot be so stressed out about something anymore, you know? So I feel like you're creating that balance where you're like, okay, I'm just not going to tire myself out over something you know and i'm I'm not just gonna keep doing that so you're taking it down a notch and i like it encouraging healing and giving some space mental space uh starting your reading off we have the emperor with the queen of swords so you're trying to make a logical practical decision about something and the thing here is that in the past you were connecting with somebody but there was this energy of like somebody was too rigid okay but you were firm with your boundaries you were showing up as somebody very caring very nurturing very giving but i feel like sometimes there is somebody around you who's being very petty i don't know if it's a friend a lover a family member a co-worker somebody here is just being very petty like no matter how lovingly you are showing up for this person they are being petty okay or they were being petty, perhaps. We have the Nine of Wands here. You're tired of holding on to something. And I feel like now you're trying to let go, uplifting yourself, you know, your spirit. A lot of you are also going to be very intuitively aligned this month so i would suggest you trust your intuition sagittarius with that high priestess energy very evident pisces placements you may have feeling very uh enlightened as well okay i feel like emotionally i kind of seeing you freeing yourself from something and that is what's on your mind as well is that i am too tired i've given too much of myself away and now it's time to take my power back with that strength card yes you're holding back you know you're you're also coming from a place of security which i love you know you're not coming from a place of being insecure you could be connecting with a leo a pisces and aries a scorpio mm -hmm. and like i said a big message here in the reading that i'm also getting is that you're going to be 
invested in something you're very passionate about, something you love to do, something you love to create. Uh, and you're going to enjoy it. Some of you are also going to be traveling, moving, or it's like, for example, like, okay, one thing I'm going to tell you, Sagittarius, is that you may feel very inclined to do adventurous stuff in the month of March. And like, sometimes you're going to feel like, where am I getting it from? Like I am sitting and all of a sudden I'm getting like this feeling that I should go to a place or I should do this, I should do that. That is what you are you are being called to do. So listen to that voice. You have some form of spiritual or angelic presence around you, okay? Now, whoever you are connecting with, honey, look at them with that page of swords. This is somebody who spies on you, who's into you, but I feel like their ways are very immature. Uh, a lot of you are going to be also trying something new this month, in the month of March with that Ace of Pentacles. And I always say whenever I see the Ace of Pentacles that this is something that has a lot of potential. This is something that has the potential of growth because it go goes up until the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Very stable, grounded offer, okay? Some of you are going to be actually manifesting a new beginning in money or just something very solid for yourself, and I love it. I feel like you're withdrawing your attention from something or somebody in the month of March, but you need to be careful of not coming, like not coming from a place of ego whilst you're doing something, okay? Somebody here also has a false sense of ego with that Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands reverse. It's, I'm hearing, don't let success get to your head. All right, so your challenge for the month, Ace of Cups, hmm, having a hard time starting something fresh, or it's like sometimes that cup, you know, you need to fill your own cup first before you give to others. So perhaps your challenge here also has something to do with self-love, but it's, it's more so like opening up to love, trusting the process, because that's what your card is saying here. Advice for you for the month of March is Tower. You know, the Tower card represents swift, abrupt uh, forward movement. It can also represent endings. It can also represent <sighs> shocking changes. So an advice for you here, I feel like as a Sagittarius, this fuels you, right? Sagittarius people, like y'all love when things are like this. Like y'all love adventure, learning, exploring. And in the month of March and onwards, I feel like you're going to get a lot of opportunities to do that. But let's see. Let's clarify a few cards. Show me what is that Knight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Communication coming through from somebody. And Eight of Wands can also represent traveling for some of you. It can represent good news coming in. And like I said, Eight of Wands... And before that, I was talking about the tower. So that just represents forward movement and a lot of forward movement, swift forward movement. Okay. That's what's up. All right. So let's have a look. judgment i feel like sagittarius there's somebody coming towards you who's really into you um but i feel like with that judgment card the decision here is going to be yours whether you want to give into this or not whether you want to engage in this or not you know the decision is going to be yours What is that Ace of Pentacles? Three of Wands. Absolutely, okay. I'm telling you. I feel like Sagittarius, there's somebody, something here or for somebody maybe you've been waiting on. 
Three of Wands is like a card of arrival or some form of manifestation coming in for you. And it is going to be very shocking and surprising. But at the same time, it's like intuitively, you're going to know that it's going to happen. So this is a great time for you to really pay attention to your subconscious and try to clear the negativity. Come on, say it out loud with me, Sagittarius. I let go of what burdens me and I welcome my blessings. I'm open to receive my blessings. So I want you to say it out loud. I want you to write it down. Remember that affirmation or write it down in the comments because this energy is nice. Anything more Sagittarius can look forward to in the month of March, please? Anything more Sagittarius can look forward to in the month of March. Nine of Pentacles, sense of independence. I feel like you're gonna be enjoying yourself, enjoy your time being single. Nine of Pentacles is also an energy of something you've worked hard towards. And this is like how many times I've said it already in the reading. There's something very significant. There's something very positive coming in for you, Sagittarius. And it's also making you feel very good about yourself. Okay. Now let's close off your reading with your messages from your person. And like I said, if you want a, if you want in-depth reading about your person, check out the extended linked below. Cheater. Be cautious. So there's somebody here who cheated on you or somebody here who was very inconsiderate of your feelings. Spend time with your loved ones more. So Spirit is saying, really pick and choose who's worth your time and who isn't. There may be a cheater, liar coming towards you, so be cautious of that. Twin flame soulmate, I want to see you. So with this soulmate, you, you know, the thing here is that you were supposed to learn a lesson. There is somebody who's going to come up with an offer, but like I said, with that judgment card, the decision is going to be yours. That's about it, Sagittarius. Those were the messages that showed up for you. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the reading. Check out the extended link in the description box below. Take care and bye-bye.